Hey you guys, what's going on? It's Teenage Night and the Weave, and we are here to pick NFL Week 6. Um, last week, I went 9-4, and four, and the Weave went 6-7, and seven, which in turn made our records, well, mine is 47-25, and 25, and Weave's is now 43-29. and 29. So you're down a little bit. So I was I'm still going to win, so... Probably, because I'll probably have like a 11-game lead... I'm pretty sure we've been doing this on and off for like four years now, and I think I don't think you've ever beaten me. Well, there was always someone else there too. Cole was always in on it. But still, I still don't think you've ever beaten me. Whenever like, Cole gets back for a basic, we should like throw him in one week and then just not count it. Really, I don't know. Anyway, first game: Dolphins at the Titans. I went with Tennessee. Tennessee. Because they got a new, uh, the Dolphins got a new coach, and don't really know how long it's going to take for them to be, you know, a decent team. Now this is America's game of the week: Texans at Jaguars. I went with the Jags. Give me Texans. Okay. They're both garbage. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that's why I said it's America's game of the week. Bengals at the Bills, and the Bills are most likely starting EJ Manuel. I went with Bengals. Bengals. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I kind of like this Bills offense, but it seems like no one can stay healthy. You know, surprisingly, Percy Harvin, I think, is still healthy. If the Bengals stay the way they are, they're going to be in the Super Bowl. We'll have to see if Andy Dalton can keep it up in the colder months, because that's where he tends to not do so well as later in the year. Broncos at the Browns. I'm going with Denver. Denver. Yeah. It's not one of those games you really want to risk. Bears at the Lions. I went with Chicago, so I think the Lions are going to stay winless. Uh, Bears. <laughs> was that a bear impression? No, that was me almost killing myself. So which game do you, are you more excited for tomorrow? Texans at Jags or Bears <laughs> at Lions? Or <laughs> Redskins at Jets, where I am taking the Jets. Jets. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. If it up to me, the Redskins would never win again for the rest of like the like that franchise for the rest of that franchise's life. If it was up to me, the Redskins wouldn't win again. Yeah, pretty much. I was gonna say until Dan Snyder leaves, but I don't want him to leave. Cardinals at the Steelers. I'm going with the Cards. Well, it's a Super Bowl rematch, kind of, not really. Well, Cardinals. I mean <laughs> I was this gonna time, say this, this time the Cardinals win. When it, when it doesn't matter as much. Well, I was going to say it's almost a Super Bowl rematch because the Steelers saw the same quarterback. But he's out this week, and Mike Vick is still starting. But the the uh, the Cardinals are still still starting an antique quarterback. so. And uh, so are the Steelers at this point. <laughs> I just want you to know, we both picked against Mike Vick last week, and he won. Yeah, but he's playing the up in the air Chargers, so. Yeah, I don't know what to think of them at this point. A Jamal Charles Chiefs against the Vikings. I am going Vikings. to Minnesota. The Vikings were going to beat them either way, so. Yeah. Panthers at Seahawks. I am going with Carolina. It's not like they're going to throw the. You're going to go Seahawks? Yeah. See, my theory is it's not like they were going to throw the ball anyway because they don't have any receivers. So Cam was going to lob it to himself. Wait, like Cam Newton or Cam Chancellor? Yeah, well, both. <laughs> He's going to lob Cam. it. To, he might lob it to Cam Chancellor a couple times too. <laughs> <laughs> Chargers at the Packers. I'm going Green Bay. Green Bay. Green Bay's going to win the Super Bowl this year. Green Bay's going to go 16 and 0, <laughs> along with the Bengals. Yeah, gonna, voice crack. They're going to. It's going to be. Bengals v v Packers. The Battle of the Undefeateds. Yeah, it's gonna look like, it's gonna look like a college football national championship. Is what it's gonna look like. Ravens at forty. Well, I mean, Andy should have been in one. So, <laughs> Ravens at Forty ers I'm going Ravens. Another Super Bowl rematch. This one matters even less. Both their seasons are done. Uh. They're both so trash. Is Steve Smith playing? I think he's questionable. Ravens. 
that's also where I'm going with it. Um, isn't that funny to you how like three years ago both these teams were really relevant, and now they're both so one that, and four. So that that three years ago one of them had a Harbaugh, and now the other one still has their Harbaugh, and the other one doesn't. And if this season keeps going the way it's going, they're not going to have that Harbaugh at the end of the season. <laughs> both Harbaugh's are going to be out. There's going to be he's no going to go Harbaugh. coach at Ohio State. <laughs> Oh, we get you Ohio State's gonna get rid of you're gonna think Ohio State's gonna get rid of Urban Meyer. <laughs> He's gonna go to Indianapolis after Chuck Pagano gets canned. Speaking of Indy, here's the Sunday night game: Patriots at Colts. I'm going Patriots. Patriots. <laughs> and since I haven't re-signed Josh Johnson yet, um, I'm gonna assume Andrew Luck is starting. You know what? That's the job I want is to be one of those quarterbacks that either sits on the bench all season or what Josh Johnson ju- just did, and he took two weeks, collected like $80,000 a week, and then just got to sit on his couch until like Thursday. You want to know who got- I want to be? You want to know who I want to be? Scott Tolzine. Who? You know who that is? He's like a third-string quarterback. I've heard the name. No, he's the backup of the Green Bay Packers. Because you know he's never going to see the field. Aaron Rodgers is going to play. Aaron Rodgers is going to play even if he's got one leg. He did that last yeah. year. Yeah. <laughs> like Aaron Rodgers could like go out there in a wheelchair and he'll still play. And probably still like the Niners up, or who are they playing this week? Chargers. Don't know why I thought they were playing the Niners. Okay, and the Monday night game for this week: the Giants at the Eagles. I'm going Philly, obviously. Giants. Okay. I think the Giants will win. Giants are looking pretty good. I think the Giants are looking pretty good, too. I'm mainly picking Eagles out of the fact that if I pick the Giants, I might be kicked out of the Eagles fandom. (laughs) Because most Eagles fans hate the Cowboys, but hate the Giants worse. I'm one of the few Eagles fans, I feel like, that hates the Giants, but not near as much as I hate the Cowboys. Cowboys playing this week? No, they are not. They're on no, my week. They're on my week. Got to get Matt Castle ready. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's... And they could potentially have Des Bryant back next week. I saw a, um, and this is just kind of a random note we're throwing into the end of this. I saw a uh, gif whenever it said like Des Bryant was doing conditioning at practice this week. It was um a gif from the uh, Billy Madison movie. And it said, like, you're all in big, big trouble. <laughs> okay, but that's going to wrap it up for our picks for week six. Um, hopefully I retain my lead by the end of the week. Right? Are you hoping for that, too? I don't care. As long as the Giants beat the Eagles, that'd be pretty fun. Can we not do that? If Holy crap, if we win, we're in the lead for the division. That's terrifying, kind of. Anyway, yeah, we will t- hopefully... Talk to you guys next week.